Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, I nearly said welcome back to Wordle in a minute. And uh, that's very inappropriate at the moment because the last couple of days of Wordle videos I've posted have not been a minute long. Um, do check those out if you want to see me squirm, sweat and squeal. Uh, don't often mention Wordle on this, but there we go. That's what's happening. Also, of course, do check out our Kickstarter where you can pledge to make our book, our second book, better than ever. We're looking forward to pulling that together and seeing how many of the stretch goals we have to achieve and uh, putting them in the book. It's going to be quite entertaining, I really think so. So that is available on the second link under the video below this puzzle. <clears throat> now, yesterday was the first of the month and we released the brilliant 12 Labours of Hercules Sudoku Hunt by Piotr V, Aspartagus and Panthera. It is Fabulous, a collection of four puzzles by each of the authors, and they are top quality, tied into the labours of Hercules. There's some fantastic graphics, storytelling. Um, you may know the stories of the labours of Hercules, but you haven't seen these ones before. That's all I'm going to say. And there are some brilliant puzzles and a meta at the end. We've actually, as I record this, we've already had a dozen entries to the whole Hunt. I mean, the 12 puzzles are harder, in my opinion, than the 14 duality puzzles last month, and they weren't easy too. So there's tons going on there. Um, thank you, NHS. Yes, I will get a COVID booster. Um, now, what else have we got going on on the channel? Well, we've closed the Jovial and Shy um, competition and we will be publishing something along the lines of an answer somewhere on patreon this week i will put up a crossword solve that i did recently as well so that'll be coming too um just a regular one not the really hard one so what else we've got oh we streamed yesterday well simon streamed his attempt at the game overhaul and it was fantastic it was great fun. I mean, it was Sudoku solving, but not as you know it. It was Sudoku solving whilst being attacked constantly by plants and rocks and electric currents and all sorts of things. And he made an absolute manful job of it. Um, his gaming skills are equal to his Sudoku skills. I would just say that it's well worth watching. Um, and is on the channel. Lots of people have watched it already, and that's great. So, in addition to that, of course, we carry on doing two videos a day and Wordle and bring you as much content as we possibly can, of course, including our apps, where we now have a gas app or a gas um, part of the CTC app, where you can buy what's already 30 puzzles and will grow to be 60 of genuinely approachable Sudoku. That's been requested for some time. They're all by Clover, Sam Kappelman Lines and Philip Newman, who are the brilliant gas setters traditionally. We've also updated the Domino Sudoku app. So loads going on. Do check it all out. And the first link under the video is to Pinwheel by Paradox, whose debut it is on the channel. Although we did feature a setter called Darth Paradox um, a few months ago. This is a different person, and it's definitely a debut. Welcome, Paradox. Now, the rule set's quite long, so I will go through it all. Um, I do advise new setters don't pack in six or seven different rule types normally, but I'm told this one's got some interesting uses of the concepts together and uh, well worth giving a go. Should be quite approachable as well, so do give it a try if you're not always sure. Now, the rules are these then. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So that's one to nine in every row, in every column, and in every three by three box. Digits in a cage cannot... Re oh, sorry, I missed one. Digits cannot repeat along the indicated diagonal. So that was an appalling attempt at colouring the diagonal. There we go. Along that diagonal, we have a set of the digits one to nine. It's marked in blue. Digits in a cage cannot repeat and if given must sum to the total in the top left corner. So those four digits are all different and add up to 29. These ones are all different and add up to who knows what. Uh, digits on an arrow must sum to the circle number, so those three digits add up to that one. A clue outside the grid either shows 
The total of a diagonal, if indicated, so those two add up to 13, or if there's no arrow, the sum of the digits sandwiched between the 1 and the 9 in that row or column. So in this column, the 1 and the 9 are around digits that add up to 19, and only those digits. Not all sandwich clues are given, but none would be 0. That's an unusual rule. Haven't seen that before. The numbers on a line must be, oh, that's this line, must be between the circle digits. So these numbers are lower than one of these digits and higher than the other. They must be between them. There's white dots. Digits joined by a white dot must be consecutive. Not all dots are given. Okay, that is a... A smorgasbord of our regular rules, and um, I am looking forward to trying it because I quite like these hybrid puzzles, even though we don't recommend that you set them as your first go. Let's get cracking. Um, okay, I'm going to start with the cage because a four cell 29 cage, if you think about the possible Sudoku numbers and start at the top, if you added the top four Sudoku different numbers, 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 would give you 30. Now, that's very close to this total, but you need to take one off. Well, you can only take it off the six and still leave different numbers. So that must be nine, eight, seven, and five. And there's another 29 cage, which is the same digits. And there's an 11 cage, which is one, two, three, and five. And the one next to the four is three or five. And that's a start. Now, what else can we do? We've got some... don't think we can do much with the leading diagonal. And that has two possibilities. Oh, okay. This is 6 plus that digit. So that digit is either 1, 2, or 3 in the corner, making this 7, 8, or 9, I reckon. We don't get a diagonal total down here. Oh, what we do get down here is lovely, actually. Look, I can fill in this digit. Now, not only do I know that that's adding three different digits and therefore must be six, seven, eight, or nine, because the minimum three digits are one, two, and three, but it also has an intriguing relationship with the 29 cage in that it sees all of those digits. What do I mean by that? I mean it can't be any of those digits because they share the column, and it can't be that digit because it shares the diagonal. Well, that's almost an irrelevance. It shares the box as well. But anyway, that means that each of 5, 7, 8, and 9 can't be in this cell. And therefore, that's our first digit and is a 6. And its arrow is a 1, 2, 3 set. And this digit on the white dot now has to be higher than 6. It's 7, 8, or 9. Oh, we've got a 5, 7, 8, 9 quadruple in column 8. We don't have the same in column 2. This one shares the same property as that in that it sees all of those digits. It also sees a 4. It might see 1, 2. Oh, it also sees a 6 on the diagonal. This is very useful. This is one, two, or three. Yes, I could have pointed out that that cell also sees all the five, seven, eight, nine digits, but it's not so helpful. It's not on the diagonal. It doesn't see that four. We'll ignore that for the time being, because we've now got a one, two, three, five quadruple in the row. That's really strange. So these other digits in the row are six, seven, eight, nine. Now, the clues I had forgotten all about well, I hadn't forgotten about the little killers. That's one, two, three, or four because of that. That is seven, six, five, or four, and it's not six in that column because of this. Now, the clues I'd forgotten all about are the sandwich clues. I can't do much with that. I can't really do much with that until I know more about where nine is. Maybe I can, but I will come back to that. Because I'm looking at this one now. Now, where are the 1 and the 9? We cannot put the 1 there. Because the 9 is either next to it, which won't allow the 7 clue, or it's way over here. So that can't be a 1 and allow this sandwich to work. 
So, what is the seven sandwich? If we put nine there, one would have to be there, and you can't put a seven there. So nine is here. Um, this can't form a seven sandwich with that cell because the other crust is a one. So we can put one in there, seven in the sandwich, yum, yum, yum. We get a four there for to make the 13 little killer clue work. Those can't be ones. We, of course, have a two, three, five set. So that's a six, eight pair. Oh, this has to be... Yes, of course, this is higher than the four. That's That means this is the high-end number on the between line. Because it must be higher than that four, which is given to us on the line. So this must be the lower number. This is one, two, or three. And that's beautiful, because now we get a one, two, three on the diagonal. You see how Paradox has made these clues, uh, or these types of constraint, um, interweave. Well, having said that that's beautiful, I'm not sure what I've quite proved there, except that these cells must be from 4, 5, 7, 8, and 9, because they're not on the 1, 2, 3 diagonal. But it looks very pretty anyway. Now, this 6, 8 pair says that 8 is not in these cells. So 8's in one of these. This now can't be 8, and that means this can't be 2, because remember, this circle is 6 plus that. Oh, and this is now even because it's on a white dot with 7 or 9. So that's become 8, which fixes 6 and 8 at the top. That's lovely. This can't be 5 anymore. Actually, once that was 6 or 8, it couldn't be 5. <coughs> um. Oh, that's a 5. Yes, remember, that's a 5, 7, 8, 9 quad. So that is the same as that digit. Oh, seven there. Wow, that's fixed seven in this 29 cage. That's more helpful. So we get a five, eight, nine set, seven, four. These are from one, two, three. The top one can't be a one. Uh, we've now got seven on the diagonal. Bingo. So that's a nine. We can remove seven and nine from those cells and nine from these. That's a five, seven, eight triple. So this is a nine. And that does put three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light losing its religion. I don't know what to do about this six. Um, yes, I do. Hang on. No, I nearly do. Yes, I fully do. Right, that three, first of all, looks across at those two cells, says they're not three, so this is. Now they're a one-two pair. Now, that... This six diagonal needs a one or a two, and that has to now be there. The other cell is five or four, but hang on. There's a five, seven, eight triple looking down a bit. So it's all resolved there. Four there, two there. This now sees a two and a three in the column, becomes a one. We jump back to the other end of the diagonal and get a two and a one next to it. And on the diagonal again, we look at that two and we can fill in three. And we've got the whole diagonal done apart from the central cells. This can't be... Oh, look, it can't be 1, 3, or 4. So that... Oh, <laughs> much more simply, it makes 10 on the uh, on the little killer clue. Sorry, didn't see that. 1 and 6 go there. Now, 4 in this box is placeable right there. This is 5 or 7. We've ended up with 1 and 9 in these circles, which is actually the least helpful things they could be. But never mind. 7 there, that feeds into this box. That's 5 or 6. That's 1, 5 or 6. I'm beginning to think we might be able to finish the corners, the corner boxes. That's not a 5 because of the 1, 5, 6 triple. Um, no, I can't quite place other digits there. Ah, three sitting there. Right, five, two, and three. Yeah, that's fixing a lot of things. So, five, six, and eight remain to be filled in in the corners of box one. Of 
got ah oh, that five and seven are sorted by this seven so five there seven there that places the five in box one doesn't place five in box seven as I thought it might those can't be a seven they're a five eight pair that's not a five so five in this box goes there that is a six seven nine triple and that means we can fix this one six pair now maybe this nonsensical total list cage can come into its own we've got one four five and seven yes that's lovely where does one go in these cells um, it's not allowed in that cage because there's already a one in it that is the whole point of this cage is to place this one and I'm sticking it in there now that doesn't actually resolve the rest of the row four five seven triple um, oh I forgot the clues again didn't I oh my goodness yes we've got this 20 sandwich clue so that adds up to 12 it is resolved We've got this 19 sandwich clue, so we need another 7 before the 9, so that must go like that. That's all the sandwich clues used up. And I think we've got a long way, although we've actually used all the clues in the puzzle pretty much, so not quite sure how we're going to finish off the remaining boxes with the information we've got, but we'll see, I guess. Oh, five in this box goes there. That fixes eight and nine. Now we've got a five eight pair there and a five eight pair there. Yes, that's really useful. That five eight pair tells me that this is a four in the middle. Oh, and then I'm left with these five eight pairs everywhere, and I'm not. They're all fixed by this five looking up at that. Eight there, five, eight, five, eight, five. This 6-8 at the top is done, and that's done all the corner boxes in full. That can't be 3, that can't be 4. We've got 1, 4, and 7 here, but 7 can't be there, 4 can't be there, 1 can't be there. 2, 6, and 9 in these cells. That can't be 9, that can't be 6. 3, 7, 9 along here. I've just remembered that we're not quite finished with this between line. Because the one thing it can't have on it is a 9 or a 1. So that's not a 9 and that's not a 7. This is a 168 triple. I don't know that we've got enough to disambiguate this stuff. We can put in a 4 there and a 2 3 pair. 6 8 9. We've done all the sandwich clues. We've done all the little killer clues. We've done the arrow clues. We've done the diagonal. We've done the consecutive dots. We've done the between line. We've done the killer cages. Oh, there's this other rule. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The, all the sandwich clues aren't given, but none of them can be zero. And the effect of that, the effect of that is nine can never be next to one. Look at that. So that's a six. That does that whole triple. Oh, that's lovely if that rule's going to finish off the puzzle. Um, this can't be a 9 because it's next to that 1. In fact, 8 is fixed now here. Yes, so that does that triple. Um, oh, those aren't resolved or those. Right, that's a 1. And that's all the 1s in the grid now. That does the left-hand triple. That can't be 4. So 4 is fixed there. Now it must be about 1s and 9s then. That can't be a 9 and that can't be a 9. I'm just going to highlight the 9s. So we've got 1 up there somewhere. 1 in one of those two. Oh, and 1 there. Well, none of those can touch a 1, so so it's not the 1-9 rule that fixes things. Oh, it must be Sudoku then. Um, that surely is 2, 3, or 7. I'm going to pencil mark things now. Yes, this is a naked single. There we go. 2, 8, 5, 4, 1, 6 in the column, 3 and 7 in the row. Didn't need any highlighting or colouring or nonsense. Let's just get rid 
Don't want to highlight them all. Right, let's get rid of all the colouring. We can just do the nines. There we go. And they didn't have to touch the ones at all. Um, now, I think we might be finished. Or there may still be a step to go. No, this is naked now. We've got three and seven to put in this column and seven there. So I think that's going to let us finish. Seven, three doesn't corrupt the between line. Two, three, that's a seven. The three in this row has sorted out two and three. Six and two, two digits to go. And that's not too bad at all. That's a nice puzzle. Uh, yes, there were some very neat interactions and a very interesting rule there about no sandwich clue can possibly be zero in the puzzle, uh, which makes it nice. That is Pinwheel by Paradox. I hope you gave it a go. Um, and I hope you enjoy any of the other content on the channel. Always a pleasure to bring it to you. Thank you as ever for watching and I hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.